Hello, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin. Today's video is going to talk about the best citizenship by investment passports for 2024. I'm going to share a little bit more about my thoughts about the different citizenship by investment programs and the recent changes in the citizenship by investment industry. So in my view, one of the top citizenship by investment passports to have is the Maltese passport. So the Malta citizenship by investment program is one of the top ranked citizenship by investment programs in the world with Malta citizenship and the passport, you have visa-free travel to over 150 countries, including major countries like the United States, Canada, and Australia. So other citizenship by investment programs don't necessarily have access to the United States, Canada, and Australia. So if you're looking for a passport that has a very high level of visa-free travel, Malta could potentially be the solution, although it is very highly priced in comparison to other citizenship by investment programs, and therefore it is not necessarily as popular as other citizenship by investment programs that are on the market. And I think one of the most underrated or misunderstood advantages of having Malta citizenship is that having Malta citizenship means that you have European citizenship. So you have the right to live and work within the European Union. You have freedom of travel throughout all 27 member states. So you have increased business opportunities, work opportunities, and the right to live and work in Europe and potentially you can have educational opportunities for your children as well. So there are a lot of benefits and pluses to having Malta citizenship. You do have to physically go to the country throughout the process, as well as it can take up to a year, if not a little bit longer, depending on which route you take for citizenship. So it is longer in comparison to some other citizenship by investment programs. So going to the Caribbean, um, St. Kitts and Nevis has for a very long time been the top or one of the top citizenship by investment programs in the Caribbean, primarily because of its reputation, its cost, its family friendliness and processing. Although in 2023, there was a lot of changes to its longstanding citizenship by investment program. And one of the changes, one of the major changes was its price. And now St. Kitts and Nevis is one of the higher priced citizenship by investment programs. Therefore, there are other citizenship by investment programs in the Caribbean, which may be of interest and are also very highly ranked and have really great advantages as well. So for 2024, one of the top passports in the Caribbean to have is the Antiguan passport. So Antigua citizenship by investment, it's one of the most family inclusive citizenship by investment programs. You can include unmarried siblings regardless of age, provided they don't have children and they don't necessarily have to be financially dependent on the main applicant or spouse. You can include your spouse, dependent children below the age of 30, dependent parents and grandparents, depending on their age ages. So it is the most widely family inclusive as well. The price point for a single applicant or family of four is relatively the same with the exception of additional due diligence fees depending and passport fees, depending on who is included in application. So Antigua citizenship, you have visa free travel to a high level of destinations over 140. You do have visa free to South Africa, which is really unique to Antigua. Uh, as some of the other citizenship by investment programs don't necessarily have visa free to South Africa. There is a five day residency requirement. So you are required to visit Antigua within for five days within the first five years of getting citizenship. But it's a really beautiful country and there's lots of things to do. So it is worth visiting and coming on vacation. And once you're a citizen, seeing more of the country. So other top ranked Caribbean citizenship by investment programs and passports are St. Lucia and Grenada. And what at the moment, St. Lucia is experiencing a very high volume of applicants. And what we're seeing is that there's a huge delay in the processing of wire transfers, which is making the process very, very much longer. Um, so it no longer has the quick processing time like it used to since it is becoming increasingly delayed, although it is a very um, highly regarded passport for its reputation, as well as high level visa free travel, not as high as St. Kitts and Nevis or Antigua. And uh, with the program, um, you know, you, you become a citizen for life and you have the right to live and work in St. Lucia, as well as freedom of movement, like the other Caribbean islands that offer citizenship by investment, freedom of movement within the OECS. And then for Grenada citizenship, and the passport, you have visa free to China, which is really unique. So if you're someone that's looking to do business in China or would be traveling to China and need, need to go to China visa free, 
then this can be an advantage. It's at the mid-tier price point. Um, some of the advantages are that it's outside of the hurricane belt if you're looking to be a citizen of a country um, that's like a little bit outside of the hurricane belt. As well, it's really naturally beautiful, a great place to visit and live and experience a family life there in, in Granada. And as, as I said, it has a very high level of visa-free travel. And um, so another program in the Caribbean is the Dominica Citizenship by Investment Program and the Passport. Uh, we are tending not to recommend it as much recently simply because Dominica lost visa-free travel to the UK. There's been a lot of changes to the program and it's become much more strict in its processing. And due to recent changes and the loss of visa-free travel, we're hoping that this will change in the future and that it will re regain visa-free travel to the UK. So this covers all in all the Caribbean Citizenship by Investment programs. There's been slight, different, slight differences in the processing of applications. Some programs have become much more strict in how the documents are presented and processed. For example, St. Kitts and Nevis has completely changed how it processes applications, which sometimes can make it more difficult for applicants. Um, Antigua and Barbuda has actually made it a little bit simpler. It used to be the hardest for processing of documents, and that has changed, thankfully. St. Lucia has changed its process as well for processing in terms of the documentation requirements, and uh, they've moved to a very much an electronic submission of documents. So this covers the Caribbean and then there's other citizenship programs like Turkey citizenship by investment. So if you're looking to have visa-free travel to Japan, Turkey offers, the Turkey passport offers visa-free to Japan. It has a high level of visa-free travel. If you are looking to, you know, be a citizen of a country that's an, now an international hub for business, there's increased people that want to live and do business in Turkey. We have quite a few people that have relocated, of our clients that have relocated to Turkey or spend a few months there. The cost of living is very low in comparison to the United States and other countries. And there's a lot of business opportunities in Turkey. Um, although Turkey is not considered a European citizenship. And then other program uh, in the South Pacific, Pacific is the Vanuatu Citizenship by Investment Program. We tend not to recommend it very often simply because there was a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of criminals or people that had a, not so clean background that were accepted to the program in the past and that they had issued different colored passports and so kind of like recognizing a two-tier citizenship that we didn't necessarily agree with and uh, although there are changes to this program as well and there's stricter requirements for processing of Vanuatu citizenship by investment. So there's other programs that have come out like El Salvador is supposed to be launching its citizenship by investment program, Egypt, Egypt citizenship by investment. It's hard for us to comment on these citizenship by investment programs because they are so new and there are other options available which are probably just as competitive or even more competitive than these programs. You know, you can look at factors such as reputation, uh, visa-free travel, personal freedoms and laws in the country. Like, do you want to be a citizen of a country that restricts or has certain laws that restrict something or some laws that you don't agree with um, as well. Uh, you can look at different passport indexes as well to see which citizenship by investment passport would be the most suitable for you or if you just have an interest in citizenship by investment in general to understand how factors, different factors, adds to the ranking of citizenship by investment programs and their passports. So if you need or want more information about citizenship by investment, you can send me an email at jennifer at jhmarlin.com or visit our website at jhmarlin.com. All the best. Bye for now.